Understanding the phrase, break hearts, an English language lesson. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of the English language, idiomatic expressions. Specifically, we'll explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, break hearts. This idiom is widely used in English and understanding it can greatly enhance your conversational skills. So, let's get started. The phrase, break hearts, is an idiom that means to cause someone emotional pain or sadness, typically in a romantic context. It's often used to describe a situation where someone's actions or decisions have caused emotional distress to others, especially in matters of love and relationships. For example, if someone ends a romantic relationship, they might be said to break the other person's heart. To better understand this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. In relationships, after ending their five-year relationship, it was clear that Jake had broken Emma's heart. 2. In popular culture, songs and movies often use this phrase to describe the pain of unrequited love or the end of a romance. 3. In everyday conversations, be careful with her feelings, you don't want to break her heart. There are several other expressions that convey similar meanings. Some of these include, shatter someone's heart, a more intense form of breaking someone's heart. Hurt someone's feelings, a broader term that can apply to any emotional pain, not just romantic. Let someone down, this can be used in various contexts, not strictly romantic, to indicate disappointment or failure to meet expectations. It's important to use this phrase appropriately and sensitively, as it involves emotions. Here are some tips. Context is key. Use it primarily in romantic or close personal relationships. Be sensitive. Remember that it refers to causing emotional pain, so be empathetic when using it. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, break hearts and how it's used in English. Remember, idioms are a vibrant part of the language, adding color to our conversations. Keep practicing, and you'll master these expressions in no time. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.